According to the CDC, fentanyl, a highly potent synthetic opioid, is about 50 to 100 times more potent than morphine. The emergence of rainbow-colored fentanyl has caused a panic that the drug is targeting children ahead of Halloween. But the panic is overblown, and parents shouldn't worry about their kids getting rainbow fentanyl while trick-or-treating. Now you might wonder, how can you say that children are not being targeted? I understand it looks bad, and I understand it looks very scary to see these drugs in candy boxes. But people are not handing out candy boxes full of drugs. It's just not the reality of what is actually going on. Now recently they've made drug busts around the country that has rainbow fentanyl found in things like Lego containers. But they're being hidden in things like this because it makes them easier to snug, snuggle, to smuggle. Drug experts agree it doesn't seem plausible for rainbow fentanyl to be given out as Halloween candy. Well, that's nice, so the experts do that. But common sense should tell you, kids aren't an ideal customer base for expensive street drugs. Because even if dealers were targeting trick-or-treaters with a, you know, first ones on the house for free type of strategy, where are they going to get the money to buy another pill? They're little kids. The goal of drug dealers is to maximize profit. And you can't do that by giving them out to children for free who won't be able to get the money to pay for it or even more. Giving rainbow fentanyl to children is a colossally stupid business move. You distribute your product for free to a bunch of children who will then die and causing the authorities to come after you like no one has ever come before. It only benefits your competitors. The whole, the whole thing is just absolutely ludicrous. Amid the panic and fear of rainbow fentanyl spreading during Halloween, it's an opportunity for parents to talk, not scold or fear, about the dangers of rainbow fentanyl. If you're going to have a conversation with your kids, they're productive conversations to have. Scaring them about something that isn't going to happen isn't productive. Every interaction between a parent and their child about health is an opportunity, and a lot of parents don't take these opportunities too often. There are different ways to go about this conversation. When it comes to younger children, parents should be the only ones distributing pills or medicine. By the time kids are in middle school or high school, that's when parents can be informative on the dangers of illegal street drugs like rainbow fentanyl and what to do if someone is in a life or death situation if they took drugs. I mean, there's a very slim chance of drugs or something else appearing as drugs to be passed out on Halloween. But if you're concerned about it as a parent, make sure your kids are only allowed to have packaged branded candy and leave the ghost of goblins out.